When you ask almost anyone what strategy is, they would say that it's a long-term goal, an aspiration that will generate either increased profits for a company or increase your overall position in life. The book The Crux by Richard Rummelt challenges this narrative and says that strategy is about problem solving and resource allocation. The term the crux that the author is talking about breaks strategy into a three-part exercise in order to take the best route forward. So let's get into that. The first part is about judging what issues are truly important and what is secondary. The second part is judgment about the difficulties and to deal with these issues. The last part is the ability to focus and not to spread your resources too thinly and try to do everything at once. By combining these three things, we can identify the crux, where you can gain the most by designing, discovering, and finding a way to move through and past it. So the art of strategy is then defining the crux, which can be mastered and maneuvered around. So how do you actually do this and not fall into the trap of generic goals and shiny new objects? Firstly, you need to deal with the challenge head on face it, and diagnose the forces at work. Once you actually start dealing with a challenge, your perception of it will change. Find what you can actually tackle and deal with that. Build momentum from there. Then you need to understand the forces that you have at your disposal and how you can best leverage them. Wanting something is not enough to get it. Look in places where you are the strongest. Third, Avoid other distractions around you. There are hundred things you could be working on, but this should be the most important thing. Fourth, when actually defining the strategy, don't start with goals in mind and don't agree too quickly on what's the way forward. You need to discover that. The idea that all businesses have one or two driving goals is not true. It's an oversimplification that has gotten way too much traction. Companies deal with a bundle of issues every day, and they're often conflicting with each other and can't be achieved together. Often, when a company has become market leader, someone can cre create a narrative of what's happened, but that probably wasn't intended from the start. This is actually quite a short summary of the book, but I really think that it can be summarized in such few words. The main point of the book is that it challenges the idea of what strategy is. It should be something that focuses on solving the most important issues and the core strengths of the company or person in mind, not increasing X metric by Y percentage over said amount of months. Arguably, the most difficult thing in strategy is finding what the actual challenge is. I hope you found this summary helpful. Thank you for listening and hope to see you again.